When it comes to the German tech tree, starting at tier 3, players will start to unlock many devastating and iconic German tanks. From the devastating Tiger to the versatile Panther, as well as other less famous but no less important vehicles like the Nashorn and Jagdpanzer 38T tank destroyers, and of course the Verbal Wind SPAA vehicle. However, one area Germany suffers in at this tier is its scouting vehicles, mainly on account of there not being any German scouting vehicles at tier 3, bar the SDKFZ 2344, which could only be obtained via an event back in 2017, and is currently on sale for 195 Gaijin coins, which is about $195. So not really an option for the average player. This means that for tiers 2 and 3, and a large part of tier 4 until the M41 is unlocked, the only choice of scouting vehicle for German players is the SDKFZ 2342, otherwise known as the Puma, a tier 2 vehicle that, while extremely mobile, is hamstrung by its 50mm gun which is fine when it's used in tier 2 against tier 2 enemies, but struggles when used against tier 3 enemies and if used in tier 4 will leave players at a severe disadvantage against the now more heavily armoured enemies. To compound this issue further, a tier 2 vehicle can only efficiently research within tiers 1 to 3, meaning that if the Puma is used at tier 4, you will suffer a minus 60% penalty to research points earned with that vehicle making it almost pointless to use this vehicle past tier 3, and indeed leaving you without a scouting vehicle to use efficiently until you unlock the M41. What this leads to is a drastic drop in German team scouting capabilities at tier 3 and the early part of tier 4 until the M41 is unlocked. In theory this could be picked up by other nations that the German team is teamed up with, but due to the popularity of Germany among players, you will often be in a situation where just one team is composed of entirely German players, or sometimes only one or two additional nations, which does severely limit the scouting capabilities of German teams. Conversely, other nations suffer far less from these issues at Tier 3, with the US having the highly mobile and heavily armed M18 GMC, the Russians having the small ASU-57 or modern PT-76B, with its 200mm penetrating heat shells, the British the South African Concept 3, which arguably is a better version of the Puma, and other nations have access to vehicles of varying effectiveness. This often leaves German teams in a position where enemy scout vehicles can quickly get into a position where they can spot targets for the rest of the team, and also have a good chance of dealing massive damage all on their own. The German teams, by contrast, will not have scouting capabilities unless somebody has decided to bring in a vastly inferior Puma, which they're probably not going to be doing when they have access to all of the other Tier 3 vehicles, and thus the effectiveness of the long-range and hard-hitting weapons on vehicles like the Panther, Tiger or Nashorn are severely limited. While the lack of scouting vehicles also makes the German team less able to respond to enemies' fast-moving vehicles. Indeed, I have to wonder if this helps in some small part to contribute to the poor performance of German teams, as at Tier 3 they are operating at a disadvantage due to having little or no scouting capabilities, leaving them blind to enemy advances. As at Tier 3, like I mentioned before, they are obviously operating at a disadvantage on where the enemy is due to having little or no scouting capabilities, leaving them blind to enemy advances, and like I mentioned before, vulnerable on their flanks while conversely the enemies will often know exactly where German players are and are thus able to more effectively plan their attacks based on this information. So what could be done to rectify Germany's tier 3 scouting situation? A simple fix would be to reclassify the Puma as a tier 3 vehicle, much like has been done with the American M24 Chaffee, which is tier 2 in the US tech tree but tier 3 in the Japanese and Italian tech trees, while retaining the same battle rating for all three nations. This could be done while adding a replacement tier 2 vehicle, but this would still leave the issue of the Puma being outclassed when used in tier 3 or 4 matches. However, I think the more obvious and better solution would be to add a dedicated tier 3 vehicle from either the World War 2 or Cold War era. So what vehicles would be good contenders to be added at tier 3? Unfortunately, there aren't many good options from World War II vehicles, 
The aforementioned 2344 would have been a perfect choice on account of having almost the same mobility as the Puma, while armed with a much better 75mm gun as used on the Marder 3H. But of course this was added as an event vehicle and so unfortunately that option is not available to us. One unique World War II vehicle I have seen is the Panzer Sebsfallerfetter, my apologies if I've mispronounced that, a prototype half-track tank destroyer armed with a long 75mm gun, giving it the firepower to deal with enemies while retaining a respectable top speed of 31 miles per hour or 50 kilometers an hour. Though as this was designed as a tank destroyer, it would be at a disadvantage if pushed into a scouting role, so I suspect it's unlikely to be added as a scouting vehicle, though I'd still like to see it added to War Thunder regardless. Another World War II option that I often see mentioned is the Lukes, which I have covered in a previous video on German tanks I would like to see added to War Thunder, but again, despite having a high speed, it is hamstrung by its inferior 20mm gun, which is the same one as used on the Tier 1 German light tanks, so again would be a poor choice for Tier 3, though again it could work at Tiers 1 or 2. So we haven't got too many good World War II options, but what about the Cold War vehicles? Fortunately here we have a much better selection of vehicles that could be used, ranging from mass produced German designed vehicles, one off prototypes and even some foreign built designs that were used by West and East Germany. A good first candidate would be the Spey Panzer Lux, an 8x8 wheeled vehicle which entered service with West Germany in 1975 replacing the previous M41 light tank and the SPZ-11-2 reconnaissance vehicles. Capable of a top speed of 56 miles per hour or 90 kilometers an hour going forward and in reverse, this vehicle would certainly fit the bill for an effective reconnaissance vehicle, able to quickly speed around the battlefield, scouting enemy targets, and due to its amphibious capabilities, is capable of crossing rivers in order to more effectively carry out this role. Later models were fitted with thermal vision devices, but in the original configuration it only carries an infrared or regular searchlight, while having a crew of four, consisting of a driver at the front of the hull, the commander and gunner in the turret, and a radio operator slash rear driver who can also naturally drive the Lukes. Unfortunately, it is let down by its somewhat weak armament, which consists of the RH-202 20mm cannon, one 7.62mm machine gun, and four smoke dischargers with the 20mm cannon having a maximum penetration of only 61mm at 100m, which is only 16mm more than the 20mm shells of the KWK-38 as fitted to the Tier 1 Panzer IIF, which naturally could cause some issues for this vehicle in combat, as even flanking enemies at close range will not guarantee penetration against some enemies. However, this still seems like a pretty good choice to add, at least as a stopgap measure. Another option is the Sonderwagen 2A, another fast armoured car with 3-5 crew, smoke grenades and a 20mm cannon, but again I feel it just wouldn't cut it at tier 3 on account of its weak armament, at least not without giving players access to more powerful scouting vehicles to complement it. Lastly for German domestically produced vehicles we have the Speypanzer SPIC, a prototype German light tank with a top speed of 36 miles per hour or 58 km an hour, a crew of three and a maximum armour thickness of 15mm. Unfortunately it is also armed with a 90mm cannon, which depending on the source is either a Makar low pressure gun or a D921, which based on the latter gun's ammunition would give it an in-game penetration of around 320mm with heat FS shells. This would likely be too powerful for tier 3, so it would have to either use inferior ammunition if that was available, or more likely it would have to be placed at a higher tier. So, so far while we do have a few good options for German tier 3 scouting vehicles, they all come with various drawbacks, which I think does explain somewhat why this gap exists in the first place, especially after all this time. However, there is still one last option, and that is to add foreign vehicles that were used by Germany in the Cold War period, and here we have two excellent options. The first is the Alvis Saladin, which I briefly covered in my recent video looking at British Cold War tanks I'd like to see added to War Thunder. But to recap, the Saladin is an armoured car with a top speed of 45 miles per hour or 72 kilometers an hour, light armour, and a three-man crew. 
More importantly, however, it has a low-velocity 76mm gun, with its only anti-tank shell being a Hess shell, which is capable of defeating 80 to 90 millimeters of armor. Bearing in mind that for Hess shells, this is a flat figure unaffected by sloping, making it effective in the anti-tank role while not being too overpowered for tier three. It can also carry HE, smoke, illumination, and canister rounds, making it an all-around effective weapon for providing cover for friendlies, dealing with lightly armored vehicles, and helping to even the odds in night battles, making this a very effective all-around scouting vehicle. Lastly, we have the Soviet PT-76B, which was used by East Germany and is currently used as the Russian Tech Tree's second scouting vehicle at battle rating 5.3. Much like with the Soviet Tech Tree, it would have a decent if not spectacular top speed of 27 miles per hour or 44 kilometers an hour, amphibious capabilities, a three-man crew, light armor, and a 76mm gun with a two-plane gun stabilizer. The gun itself is a bit of a mixed bag, with its stock shell being an APCR round, with 129mm penetration at 500m, followed by an APHE shell with 90mm penetration at 500m, but of course much better after penetration effects on the enemy tank, and then lastly a Heat FS shell with 200mm of penetration, which massively evens the odds against enemy tanks, while still being handicapped by its light armour and unspectacular speed. So overall, we have a few good options here for inclusion as the German Tier 3 scouting vehicle. Personally, I think the Spey Panzer Lux would be my top choice for being added, with the Panzer Sebs Felafetta being a very distant second, as these are both German-designed vehicles with good design choices, with the Panzer Sebs Felafetta 2 having a highly effective gun, though not necessarily effective as a scouting vehicle, while the Lukes would of course suffer in the armament department but would retain superior mobility, making it much better as a scouting vehicle. As a backup choice, I think the Saladin and PT-76B would both be good choices, as the former vehicle is an effective vehicle with a hard limit imposed by its Hesh ammunition when used against enemy tanks, while the latter is already proven to fit in at tier 3 without being too powerful or underwhelming at that tier. In recent updates, we have seen Gaijin filling in the gaps on many tech trees, so hopefully this will be sorted sooner rather than later, helping to level the playing field for German teams at tier 3, at least with regards to scouting vehicles. So anyway, that's it for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and feel free to follow me on any of the social media platforms I'm on as linked below. So hopefully you'll join me for the next video. I've been Tereno and I'll see you next time.